Hey guys, what is up? How's it going? How's your day going? I hope it's going good. If it's not, I hope that watching this episode will help you feel better about your day. And I hope your day gets better too. Uh, so I'm back with another episode of Dead Cells. And yeah, I just found out. Just today, I checked the news on the Steam, the Dead Cells uh, community hub or whatever it's called. So yeah, there's a new update, the Foundry update, as you can see on the screen here. It's currently in beta. I believe I believe it was just posted today, uh, December 16th. At, at least the article was, the news article, the dev posted. And so there's a lot of new stuff. Yeah, so if you can see in the upper right corner of the screen, it says upgrade your weapons again. New perk system, which... I mean, as I understand, it's being called mutations in the game. And I guess plenty of good stuff on the beta branch. Yeah, and uh, I read the articles before it. Apparently, there was recently an alpha, which is pretty much done already because, uh, y you know, they use the alpha and now they, they uh, the devs, using the feedback they got from the alpha, they produced this beta update. So yeah, I'm going to be switching to the beta today. And we're just gonna start playing. And so, yeah, I'll just leave it on my save and just... Uh, I did back up my save. So if I gotta revert, like after this update is done, I gotta revert or something. Oh, I'll revert or whatever. I don't know. Um, but I'll just leave it on that save and I will resume the current run. And so let's just start playing and see what this new update is like. Uh, uh, I I did play. Th I did give it one playthrough, where I died, of course. Um, but I I'm st I'm still relatively new. I, I only did one playthrough, so I don't really completely know what's going on. Um, I'll go with the balance blade, and I think I'll take a shield. Maybe I'll give the shields another go. the same. Um, do I want to go with a projectile build? Probably not. I'll pass. Uh, I generally like to look for... I generally like to look for those grenades with, uh, you know, causes arrows to drop out of the enemies. Again, because um, once you're facing the bosses or... Oh. Once you're facing the bosses or the strong- oh, huh. Well, look at this. We- things look different. So I'm noticing immediately that all three branches have plus 50% health. Okay, yeah, and I was reading in the article, he did say that he didn't like how uh, survival in the- in the previous brutality update, update number four, how, um, survival is becoming overpowered because now survival had both damage uh, and a lot of health compared to the other two branches brutality and tactics and so now he said I think he said something to the effect of now he's just gonna give everything 50% health like he like we have you can see here and I think he's gonna try diversifying through the perks or the mutations or whatever it was um, so I think I might try to go hybrid brutality and survival, seeing as I have a shield equip, just to, you know, just to kind of see how things go. Just as a first, uh, technically this is my second playthrough, but this is going to be my first, uh, recording of it. So, uh. So yeah, so this has a, a good first start. A sword, just a classic sword and shield setup. Uh, I do like to take bear trap. I mean, it's just uh, good against really tough enemies. Yeah, see, so something like this causes all arrows to fall from victims. That's what I usually look for. 
for a for a projectile build. Should I go back and pick up that bow? Where was it? Oh, that's right. I sold it. I sold it already. So yeah, that's too bad for me. Uh, but you know, this that probably won't be the only bow we come across. Um, so yeah, let's let's just try to divide our points evenly here and see how it goes. And I think I'm going to skip out on tactics. Just, just to reserve more points for survival and brutality. This is a better blood, sh uh, blood shield. Oh, freezes enemies when you parry. This is, of course, much better. Uh, I can't sell that. Okay. So let's see. Moving on. You know, how is this? How is this new upgrade gonna work out? I mean, this new update. Will it be good? Will it be bad? Will it be an improvement? Or will it be worse? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep playing for a while and I'm going to see. So this new... I mean, all I can say initially is this new system seems weird to me. Of course, I mean, it's like my second time playing it only, so... I can't really tell for sure, anything for sure. I'm just gonna skip out on the hunter's grenade. Is in my opinion, the hunter's grenade is just too hard to use on on the particular enemy I want to use it on again because it turns them into a turns them into an elite, and then well, I already have a frost grenade, and then uh, the trouble is you got all those little enemies spawning while I'm trying to you know while I'm trying to use the. Uh, you know, I use the grenade on them, I drop their life below, and they're supposed to use that other item, right? I'm trying to use it, but I'm constantly getting hit by those little guys. I'm like, what is the point of this grenade? I can't use it, you know? You know, all, all, I, all I end up doing is dying, because I'm, I'm desperately trying to use the grenade, and I'm getting hit the entire time. So, let's just take the easy way out to start with. Let's go to Promenade. Okay, so this is new. We have everything is this organization here is very, very different, very different. And uh, you know, I think I'll just continue with the gold recovery. And okay, so then there's this guy. And so you see, yeah, it says one mutation available. I assume this is the what the perks are. And look at all of those dead bodies. All our dead bodies over there. That's that's gross. Um, so three HP when you kill an enemy. I don't know. I think I might take two times ammunition. Um, just in case, because you know I kind of feel like taking a ranged weapon. Uh, if I find one, you know it may not. This gamble may not work out for me, but uh, who cares? Who cares? That, that's okay. Uh, I'm willing to take a small risk. So I'm getting better at parrying, apparently. You know, I, I never used to be able to parry like that before, I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty bad. Um, I wasn't just pretty bad, I was really bad. I was really, really incredibly bad. And so yeah, I'm gonna skip tactics. Again, I'm just going to take Brutality and Survival. Um, it's sealed already. Unfortunately. Uh, same, same deal here. Same deal here. Um, 
So I might want to balance by putting one more survival. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure now exactly where the dev is trying to take the game. Um, because I, I don't know if it's really necessary to focus that much on build diversity. Because uh, even even games with a You know, even games with a relatively, even games with a relatively long history of, um, what is this? Well, nothing I can open right now. Even games like, like ARPGs, you know, like Diablo and stuff that, um, that's one of their main issues. Even they struggle with the issue, you know. Players always feel in all those games that there isn't enough build diversity and you know the thing is it's my personal opinion I think it's impossible to to get to get really significant build diversity. So honestly I don't think the dev should try so hard, although to be honest, uh, I, I can't. I, sh I can't. I gotta qualify that because actually, shields are much better than they used to be. So, um, actually, the game is improving as a result of what the dev is doing. Oh, well, I take back my word. I take back my words. Um, uh, you know, like, uh, game dev, if you're listening, please continue with your work. I really enjoy this game. It's getting better as we speak. Okay, yeah, so this one, this one, this one gives me reduced damage taken and it still has that arrows mod, so I'll take that. Um, is this a better bear trap? E yes, sort of. Yeah, I guess that exploding viscera thing should be useful. Who knows? Who knows? Um, no, I still have to find a projectile weapon that I would like to try. Yeah, and so, yeah, one thing I've begun to notice is that the shops look like they're not selling items anymore. I mean weapons, I could be wrong because it looks like they're, they're only selling just general, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, skills, active skills. And that, that looks new and I don't have any gardener's keys. So, so, too bad for me I guess. So here's an elite, but uh, we need to take care of this elite dog. easier to deal with um, elites. It's better than the prisoner's caller. Let's call it. Um, yeah, let's just see what's down here. Oh yeah, this is the wall climb area. Oh, if I remember right, this was... this leads to a new area.
that didn't help me much. Um, okay, let's keep it right here. So yeah, I was right. Um, it leads to the prison depths. But I don't want to go there yet. I want to explore the rest of the level if possible. Who knows, maybe there's an extra, an extra scroll. I don't know. Maybe there's a bowl or something. Some kind of projectile weapon, please. Please. Give me something here. that right or is the invincibility temporary? Or was that always in the game? Because it looked like it was something new. Okay, no, I don't want this. Baby, baby, you know, Spartan sandals is so much fun to use, I gotta say. Oh, okay, so I, I think I, now I'm seeing, see, now we have weapons. I think, I think in this update, he separated the shops into weapon shops and skill shops. So, uh... Oh, do I want the Spartan Sandals? I really want to go to projectile build, but it's so, so satisfying to to kick enemies off. Uh, I think I'll try to reroll for some projectiles, though. Uh, one more time. And still nothing. Well, okay. Let's, let's just take a tier 3 balance blade, then. I'm so disappointed I spent all that gold. I'll let go of re-rolling, just, just to not get a projectile weapon. Ah, RNG is not smiling upon me today. Is there something up here? Oh yes, there is. Oh, there's a gardener's key. Oh. Okay, so I've got one gardener's key. I should explore this area a little more thoroughly. There, there might be more gardeners. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think you need three to open up that area. Um, I've got one. critical with the third hit. Uh, I don't see any other... oh. There's there's an area right here with another gardener's key. But um, how am I supposed to get to it? Uh, oh, okay, so there's, there's a floor I can break. So here's another partner's key. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think there's so I've got two keys, but it looks like looks like you need three. Um where could the last key be? 
Did I explore the level yet? Well, there's still some, some areas left to explore. Sir, I got them there. Um, still no sign of any key. Yet. Nothing up here. Where could that last be? Where could that last key be? I mean, we're basically already at the end here. What about over here? There's nothing over here. Um, perhaps. Go back and have a look at the lock doors. Well, not like that. One of the keys could possibly be found over at the big key. is behind the time door. Oh boy, I don't actually know. Maybe I should probably ask in the forums. I'm pretty sure someone would know. I mean there's some there's some players that are hardcore, like they, they play the game a lot. I mean even like as soon as it it comes out already like 20, 30, 40 hours long, I'm like what? Ah, so yeah, I guess we gotta just leave that there. We just don't got the keys for it. Um. Yeah, so maybe I'll just move on to the ramparts. I'm just gonna take it easy on myself today. Jeez, and I still don't have a projectile weapon. Huh. Yeah, just gold recovery. Gonna continue. We can pick up another mutation. Um, I think I'll just go... I think I'll go with tactics. Unlock mutations? Maybe, but well, okay, I don't see any listed there. Okay, let's just move on then.
Oh, oh. There's a scroll. Okay, so. The main damage dealer is my brutality. But I think I will balance it here with survival. Because I also have a shield. Eventually, I have to go and check the suit that I'm cooking, but I'll leave that for later for now. Also, an infantry grenade. Uh, yes, I would rather have this because all. Yes, yeah, so it has the arrows mod. I would rather have this than the fire grenade because the infantry grenade uh, benefits from our brutality. I really don't care about the bear trap because I don't use it to deal damage. But it, it does, as it turns out, it, it benefits from survival. So what's this? Support? Well, I'll have, to, I'll have to find out what that is when I get to the collector. Sealed. See what we got here. Nah, I've got a, I've got a pass on this. I think. So it's not probably not gonna damage enemies as much, but it will stun them. I do get damage reduction, and I do get arrow firing. So I think I'll switch my shield. You know, I still don't have any projectiles yet. Uh, 
Okay, so one guy left, he's done for. But there's more. Here's the exit to the Black Bridge, but I'm just gonna explore a bit more for uh, extra scrolls, etc. Oh, you know what? I just forgot. I should have been using the bear trap on those shielder guys. Look at perfect. See, just like that. Simple and easy. Um, of course, survival. So I saw an area back there. What is this? Oh, this is probably the yeah flashway. Okay, let's see. I guess yeah, that looks like everything. Let's go to the black area. <clears throat> okay, so oh yeah, okay, so it looks like it looks like you can unlock mutations. Uh hmm. about forty-five dash per second while you're Near a deployed skill. I guess this is meant to work with turrets, I suppose. Uh, I don't, for the time being, I don't really care. Oddly enough, I don't really use turrets too much at the moment. Um, take the brutality. Let's go fight the... Oh, excuse me. It's getting a bit late here. this boss so much easier. Oh, not like that it does. You know what I really like about it is it stops his pesky leap attack. Oh, I hate that attack. So pesky. Can't leap at me, buddy. Oh, that red 
aura. Yep. Thought you could leap at me, but you can't. Oh. Yeah, I, I oughta, I really oughta pay attention to that. Oh boy, okay. We beat him. And we got melee. I don't know what that is. Well, you know, look, I know what melee is, so... I know what the word means, but I don't know what that schematic is for. Of course, the time door is sealed, and who is this guy? Oh, okay, so I see what this is. Yeah, he mentioned the dev mentioned this in the uh, the news article too. Um, so this is where you spend your cells to upgrade your stuff. And I, if I'm not mistaken, he said this this is meant for this is meant to be like your end game. You you keep playing the game even after you unlock all the items. You to you to upgrade your items. Um, do I want to upgrade something? I don't know. Uh, knife storm maybe? I end up using that a lot. So you can sell, you can give cells to him. And it looks like you still have the collector. So I don't know, I guess that's supposed to be the foundry and I guess that's the uh, blacksmith down there or something. Uh, I guess... I guess we can only have three mutations max, which is fine. I'll just keep what I got. So we have, we can go to the Fog Fjord, or we can go to the Slumbering Sanctuary. I'll just go to the Fog Fjord. I don't care. See, let's see. Let's just move. Hey, so the water looks red. Oh, okay, but it doesn't damage us, so that's fine. fight that guy. I like that. Ah oh, man. It'd be so much better if I had three some But I do not. I might have to run up close to him and toss the toss the bear trap on him. Oh yeah. And 
I keep the shield, and that will be it. So, I don't know, will it be easier to do it the fucking way? Um, wait, wait a minute. Oh, well, okay, I... I guess not. So it looks like that's that for our first foray into the Foundry update. I hope you enjoyed the episode, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.